Welcome back everyone to another GTA 5 glitch. Now usually I do not upload two videos in one day, but this is how you know I am uploading two videos in one day because clearly I did make this outfit I'm wearing and the video I filmed earlier this morning. But this is a new merge glitch that is out for all platforms now I'm not gonna promise you right at hand that it does work on all gen I can confirm that this does work for PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S for Grand Theft Auto 5 expand and enhance yes. so you I will also during the process of teaching all this this, there might be a little bit of a workaround for old gen. I will give you some ideas in the process once we get to those steps of the video. So stay tuned. So just because you heard me say that I guarantee it works on new gen, don't click off because you might hear something that I suggest later on in the video that you can try an old gen that you can try it will work because no one has posted a video on this for old gen. No one has post any steps about this for old gen but this is still kind of new still on the development still needs to be played around with now I will tell you this here you do need to buy the car that you want to mod and have it in one of your garages preferably to have it in your one of your garages except for your CEO office or your back of your MLC or it needs to be in your Eclipse Towers Hers. But as always, before we get started, go ahead and smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications, and join my Minecraft and GTA Discord servers. Link will be in the description. I will be more than glad to help you with this glitch if you need help, or if one of my staff members or one of my members in there will be more than glad to help you. Now, you will need a friend to help you with this, and that friend will need to be able to have story mode. And they will need to have at least Franklin unlocked in story mode. It doesn't matter if they have Trevor or Michael unlocked. All they want to do is at least be able to pull down on D-pad. And they want to go up to oh, Franklin and sit on this alert. When I tell you to that you want your friend to do that. So that's all they're going to want to do. So stay tuned. So at this time, I want to get inside my donor card I'm pulling the mods from at LS Car Meet. My friend wants to be inside his car and he wants to send me an invite to the Sprint. Now, as soon as I accept the Sprint invite and he sees the timer pop up on his screen in the bottom right hand corner, that's when he wants to go down, down to. It will hold down the D-pad and go on to Franklin or Michael or Trevor, one of those three, and sit on the alert. Say, are you sure you want to leave? You just want to stay on that alert and don't do nothing at all. He can literally put down his controller at that point. So I'm going to my job menu, and I'm going to a sprint invite, and I'm set to sprint. So the timer's up, so now he should be on that screen. We're getting on that screen right now. Once he's on that screen, he's good to go just to sit like that. Now I have to wait till the timer hits zero, and that's going to put me on infinite black loaded screen. At that time, you want to bounce off of someone in a different targeting mode. Um, so if you're using Anawak, please note you will need to be in assist name because he is in free aim. So as you see, I am on infinite black loading screen. I'm going to go to Anawak. And I'm going to hit join game. Now, old gen, if, and there's an Anawak profile for Xbox. But I don't know offhand. So uh, you might just need to have a second person with you instead of just one. You might have to have a second person with you to be in a different session so they can invite you to their session so you can bounce off of them. So I'm going to accept the first alert. Decline the second. Now once I do that, this is where things are a little bit different. And, um, and this is where I'm going to recommend some stuff. So on new gen, what you're going to want to do is open up your pause menu. Go to online and go to GTA Plus and click on GTA Plus and back out. Now for old gen, this is what I recommend because y'all don't have GTA Plus. Y'all can either purchase on 
click on purchase start card and then back out or y'all can try to bounce off of someone again but whichever way works for y'all please let me know in the comments below this is still new so once you do click on GTA Plus and back out you just want to open up the interactions menu kill yourself in the game just take the easy way out once you do so you'll spawn back in with the car you want to get out of the car you want to go ahead open the pause menu and look for this job up here at the top of the map so you would need to have your job menu, job shown on the map app before starting the glitch to get your job shown on the map go to interactions menu go to job send the show on old gen on new gen go to map blimp options and set them to show all jobs once you do so you will be good to go there but now if you spawn inside the LS car meet you have your job showing already you need to go outside and walk out and then walk back in to get your jobs to show oh up if you have them set the show right so I'm going to start this job it's going to tell me I'm not able to start it up that time so I do have to start it up again so I'm going to go back up here and start it up once I get into the job menu you I can back out at the time once I do back out of the job menu I just want to register as a CEO and head on over to the garage that has the car that I want to mod now if the car is in the back of your MLC just request your personal vehicle from your MLC after returning the personal vehicle the storage that you have out right now on the map meanwhile while you're doing this your friend's just going to be sitting on that screen aim like he wants to go to that story mode he's just chilling like a villain right now so you just want to register as a CEO you're gonna hop in your car here and head on over to the garage where the car is at that you want to put the mods to It'll, because at this time you cannot call your mechanic for nothing and so I just want to head on over to my auto shop because that's where the car is that I want to mod now once I get the car out I do want to call in a buzzer and go up in there and jump out of the buzzer or I can take the easy way out again through the interactions menu if the cooldown period is over or I can do that as well yeah, and then once I spawn back in with the car I just want to change something on it over at LS customs but now if the car that I was modding is in the was in the back of my MOC or was at my Eclipse Towers or was at my CEO office. I just drive in back into that said property that was in one of those three and it'll automatically save. I do not have to take it to the custom shop and change a thing on it. Okay, and then once I'm done modding all the vehicles I want to, you can just have your friend and he can accept the alert, go to story mode. Or he can press B and then and go to the pause menu and go to find a new session or go to the Rockstar Creator. But at this time, your friend just wants to sit on the screen until you tell him he's you're done with modding. So I'm making my way to my I Auto Shop now to get the car out that I want to put the mods on to. So meanwhile, I'm making my way to my auto shop, like I said, and your friend just don't want to do nothing with his controller. He just wants to sit on that screen like he wants to go to story mode. I'm literally almost to my auto shop so I can get the car out that I want to put the mods onto. So I'm going to be just outside my auto shop here as you see and I'm just going to walk in on foot, grab the car, come outside, call in a buzzer and go up in the air, jump out. Now if I am doing more than one car or 
you can just keep using the same buzzer again you can walk into the blades once you have once you have uh so the, you don't have to keep recalling a buzzer so it's easily just do it like this so just go in here now if you like I say if you are doing more than one car instead of just one you can use the same buzzer to die with just walk into the blades aids where just don't go up in the air and jump out and then fall to your death so now I'm in my auto shop I'm gonna hop inside the car that I want to put the mods on to drive it outside and I'm gonna request my buzzer through my CEO and then I'm hopping my buzzer where did my buzzer spawn in at it's over here so I'm gonna go over here hop in the buzzer So I'm just going to go up in the air inside my buzzer here, once my buzzer does start up. And I'm going to jump out and I will spawn inside of the car once I do die. So I'm just going to jump out, fall to my death, and I'm going to spawn back inside the car. And I want to go change one thing on it. And then I'm going to go do another car, or I can tell my friend that I'm done. So I just want to go and change one thing on the car now. Once I change one thing on the car, I will be good to go. So I'm going to go to the custom shop now, and just change one thing on the car. Now, to make this go faster, or you can only change, it would be good just to change the armor. And then you can customize the car the way you want to later on. Because keep in mind you still have your friends sitting inside of the a alert to go to story mode. So basically you basically go on your friend's time here. So I'm gonna go right over here to the custom shop and I'm going to change one thing and then I'm gonna back out of the custom shop and then my friend will be good to go he can either press B on the alert or he can put for accept the alert but I'm he still heading over here to the LS customs So I'm going to go right in here and I'm going to pull in the LS Customs if I don't stop spinning out here. Y'all didn't see nothing. I didn't spin out. This car is on low grips guys. Yeah. So I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to go to armor changed armor and change it back to what I want it to be and then I'm going to back out the the LS customs I'm going to back out and there we go the car is done now my friend can either can accept the alert at this time or he can press B and leave the game by going to a different session to end the sprint and, and there you go oh so now you successfully modded a car you can do more than one car at a time you don't have to do anything else and there you go you now successfully modded a car in gta 5 online and and if you are doing your special vehicles you can do that yep you can do your special vehicles that is all good good so that's all you want to do if you want to do that you can't you can do mod your special vehicles your facility vehicles and stuff but you can save them through the LS customs by starting up caged in through your motorcycle club 
Now your friend will have to join back for that and he cannot be registered as a CEO or MC. A, you just have to get the said item into your LS Customs and then you will have to be registered as an MC and start up KJN. And if I need to do a video on that to show y'all later on, on, please let me know in the comments below. And let me know in the Discord server if you need help with this. Other than that, please smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications. I'll catch you inside the next video.